leveraging machine learning with the Python transformation in big data management. Python transformation in Informatica big data management arc. The Python transformation was introduced in Informatica BDM version 10.2.1. The Python transformation is supported on the Spark engine. The intent of the Python transformation is to enable machine learning use cases with Python on BDM. The main focus is the customer already has a pre-trained model and the customer wants to bring in this model into production with production data. The Titanic use case. Given the passenger data from the Titanic, you want to be able to predict whether or not a passenger survived. The features used in this prediction model are the following. The priority class of the passenger, the gender of the passenger, the age of the passenger, number of siblings or spouses, number of parents or children, the fares paid by the passenger, and where the passenger embark on the Titanic. Now let's move to a quick demo. For the demo purposes, we will introduce a Python transformation within a already created mapping as the mapping template shows, I'm reading the Titanic data from a flat file. I'm then processing this mapping, this Titanic data in an expression transformation. And I'm going to feed the data from the expression transformation to the Python transformation. So let's go ahead and add the Python transformation to the mapping. So I've added a Python transformation to the mapping. Let's talk about the properties of the Python transformation. Click on the Python tab. As you can see, there are two main properties, resource files and code. The resource file allows the user to provide the path to distribute resources that are referenced within the Python code. The code property is nothing but the Python code that the user wants to run within the BDM mapping. Next, I'm going to create the input port of the Python transformation. For that, I'm just going to do a simple drag and drop. Next, I will proceed to bring in the Python code that I want to execute in my mapping. Next, I'm going to make a slight modification to my Python code in order to reference the model by using the resource files property. Now that we have the Python code ready for execution, I will go ahead and add the output port of my Python transformation. Once that process is completed, the mapping will look as follows. Once you've completed these operations, you could go ahead and run the mapping. Next, we will talk a little bit about the output from the mapping execution. This is a sample of the output from a prior execution of the mapping. Here I'm not I'm only querying the hive table where the data, where the result of the mapping are saved. If you look at the first row in a snippet of the output, you will notice that the predicted output, the model correctly predicted that the passenger in this case will survive. If you look at the result on the third row, you will notice that the model predicted that the passenger will survive, but the passenger actually did not survive. Next, let's talk about our summary. What do we do? We added the Python transformation to a BDM mapping in the developer tool. We configured the Python transformation. We added the Python code. We added the path to the train model. And we slightly modified the Python code to reference the train model by using the built-in array. Next, we executed the mapping on the Spark engine.